hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to see some aggregate function in a sql okay and this is one of the most important topic most of the time from a data analyst from the data engineering whatever the analysis we have to do based on the data right we use aggregate function for taking example suppose i have one of the employee table okay in this employee table you can see i have a id column name post salary and the location okay suppose from this table if you have to find out what is the maximum salary of the employee how actually we can do so in that case we can use a aggregate function so we have a multiple aggregate function available like max mean average uh, and so on okay so first query is like to find out the maximum salary of the employee how actually we can write it's very simple what you have to write select and max and the salary that is our column name from the employee table from employee table if you will do that if you will execute this you will get what is the maximum salary of the employee you will get that output okay so this is the maximum salary we have in this employee table okay similarly if you have to find out the the minimum salary of the employee obviously you can write a query for that instead of writing max you can write the minimum okay if you will write and if you will execute you will get the minimum salary of the employee you can see 20,000 is the minimum salary okay similarly if you have to find out how many total employee we have okay now if you can see in this particular employee right you can see you have a 7 okay we have one of the ID column okay that is a unique okay now if we, I have to find out how many um, how many records we have how, how, what actually I can write I can write select count of ID also I can write if it is a unique or I can also write a count star constant means how many records we have from employee if I will execute this what I will get I will get the seven records okay means total seven employee we have okay so count is also one of the method aggregate function now if you if anyone is saying to find out the average salary of the employee if you have to find out what is the average salary what you can write you can write the average instead of minimum you can write average and if you will execute you get the you will get the average salary of the employee this is the average salary okay now if you have to find out the what is the total salary of the employee what actually you can write you can write the sum of salary from the employee you now if you will execute this this is the total salary of the employee we have okay total seven employee we have and their total sum of the salary is this much okay yeah so that's all about the aggregate function i hope you got it thank you